Hey fellas, today I will be reviewing a 12 inch Deadly Winds barrel, the fiber. It's a full carbon fiber barrel with a little plastic coating on the inside. Uh, a lot of people wanted to see a review on video, so today I will do one. You see over here, I have the full aluminum free kit with sizes from 679 uh, to, what is that right there? 695, so I have the whole shebang bang. I will be using uh, Tipman X7 Phenom. Modifications are Lapco Unifold Piston Housing, uh, Tech T Ratchet, and Vortex Mod. And um, I have a lightning rod inside there. I have a folding, what is this, G36 stock. I have EOTech replica. And just a regular old pistol grip. That's about all I've done to it. So we will be shooting, what is this? Weapons grade <laughs> paint balls. They're about uh, uh, six, eight, nine bore. But I always overbore by one size. So I'll be using my 691 insert. And uh, we're gonna find out how this thing goes. Just fill this thing up. It's not full, but it's almost there. This is, uh, as you could probably obviously tell, A5 and X7 threaded. Not cocker or anything like that. All right, it's in there. I will be aiming at that ball and that tree right over there. So let's see how well I could do. Most of the paintballs landed either on target or within five inches of it. Within, what is this, 75 to 80 feet. Right now, I'll be shooting at the cinder block. He's shooting at, he was shooting at the center block and it's pretty much just dripping right now. Oops, I guess I zoomed in on myself. All right, it's just dripping. I'm just gonna turn it around that way. See, nice and clear. Now we're gonna know how he does from the get-go. And now. That's the deadly winds right there. Shooting uh, overbore one size. Uh, let's let's see how it, uh, the performance gets affected if we use bigger or smaller inserts. You can see last time we were using uh, 
691 bore. So let's overbore to 695 and see how accurate this thing goes. I will be aiming at the little ball, the volleyball in the tree. As you can see, when you overbore like crazy, uh, the accuracy drops, even though some balls hit the target on point, there was a lot of strays going right, left, up and down. So um, let's try underboring now. All right, so as you can see, we were using 695. Now, Let's try 684. Severe underboring. Hope I don't get any brakes. Got plenty of balls. Be aiming at the ball again. As you can see, when you underbore like crazy, some people tell you it's better. Uh, it really isn't. Uh, as you can see, a lot of balls did hit the targets, but the ones that veered off, veered off really, really far. Um, let's try shooting at the cinder block underbore. You can hardly see anything because of the glare. Uh, as you can see, with me experimenting with different uh, insert sizes, the best results I've ever seen was when you bore match and then you move one side up. Because certain balls, if you bore match, some could be smaller than the average, some could be bigger. And when you bore match, it could go either which way when you're shooting. But if you overbore a size, it's less likely for you to get any of that conflict because things just move out at the same pace. Um, I hope that makes sense. Anyways, this is my review of the Deadly Winds Fiber Barrel 12 inch for the X7 Phenom X7 Classic and A5. Uh, shout out to Colin over there at Deadly Winds who keeps his customers happy. Uh, this is Phase Reality 818 from A5 OG and X7 OG. I hope you enjoyed my uh, small, what's it called, review. Uh, there you go, beautiful sight. Enjoy. This is what we're reviewing. Everybody in the world knows they want one of these. Deadly Everybody Wind Fiber, 12 inch, Wait. triple porting, Wait. <laughs> carbon <laughs> fiber. Is, uh, $90, right? Or is that all, all the same price. All the same, all the same price, price. Yeah. Oh. Um, It's like that James Bond shit right here. Yeah, it's ultra high.